thinking about rejuvenating a tired old deck or changing the look of a patio and are looking for a cost-effective long-term solution? If so, you've come to the right place. In this video, we're going to be talking about the properties of wood deck tiles, what makes them a great solution, and show you how easy they are to install. Wood deck tiles are an ideal solution where there is already a substructure in place, either a previous deck, such as this, or a relatively level concrete or brick patio. They can even be installed over some types of flat rooftops. Most wood deck tiles come in interconnecting one square foot pieces and weigh about two pounds each, an extremely lightweight covering for an established deck. The popularity of wood deck tiles is growing and many large retailers are carrying some variation of the tiles. The tiles we're using today are Kentucky Teak tiles from Build Direct. Teak is known for its long wearing properties. It is naturally insect and decay resistant and doesn't require chemical stains or preservatives, making it environmentally friendly and a wood of choice for many marine applications. It's important to buy your wood flooring tiles from a manufacturer who practices responsible and sustainable forest practices, so it's important to ask. This Kentucky wood tile is constructed of 12 strips of teak wood that are secured to a lightweight interlocking plastic base with galvanized steel screws. The interlocking plastic base ensures uniform connection and spacing of the tiles. Securing the wood strips from the bottom maintains a smooth, sliver-free surface. It also provides enough strength to span gaps up to 2 inches. The non-permanent connections of the interlocking bases allow for easy replacement or relocation. Definitely a big plus, especially for renters. The first thing we need to do is carefully measure the space we're going to be covering with the tiles. As a rule, you should order about 10% more than your total square footage for possible cuts, damage, or future repairs. Also keep in mind that if you are going to be including a border, that the width of the border be included in your coverage calculation. After you have completed your coverage calculation, you will have to make a decision about whether you want the deck tiles to cover the entire deck, or if you can live with a small gap around the edges if it means you don't have to cut any of the tiles. So let's get started with the installation. Once the products are on site, we can quickly check our coverage calculations by laying out a row of tiles, including the edging. Keep in mind that your current deck or patio may not be perfectly square, and so leaving a small gap may prevent you from having to make a number of adjustment cuts to some of the tiles. Once we have confirmed the spacing of the tiles and edging, we can start laying down the tiles. Another bonus of this type of installation is that you can easily shift furniture around as required to complete the installation. Where we are dealing with straight edges and corners, the deck can literally be installed in minutes. You may have some areas, such as this chimney, where you need to custom cut your tiles. The first thing you do is you bring your product around the area in which it needs to be cut. Get some cardboard and cut it into one foot square pieces. We will be using these pieces as templates for cuts on the actual tiles. Once we have created our cardboard templates, we simply use them to mark the actual tiles. Check the base to make sure there are no screws along your cut line. If there are any screws on the cut line, simply move the screw to a different fastening point, making sure that each teak slat has at least two screws in it. Then go ahead and cut through the wood and plastic base, using a jigsaw and all the necessary safety equipment. It is best to use a carbide blade, as teak is a hard material. Use a palm sander or a Dremel tool to bevel the cut edges of the tile. This will give it a more uniform finished look. There you have it. In a matter of hours, we have transformed a weathered, sliver-filled old cedar deck into a beautiful, long-lasting, barefoot-friendly outdoor space. The Kentucky deck tiles we use today require no staining, oiling, or sanding, and are known for their ability to withstand extreme weather conditions and wood-boring insects. An amazing cost-effective new deck surface that will be sure to age gracefully with very little maintenance. If you have any questions about these deck tiles, you can visit this website or call us at this number. Thanks for watching.